Hey guys, after rewatching the original video and taking feedback from people, I've decided to remake my guide for Threads of Fate. Originally, it was just a talk I did on stream and I felt like it would be good to upload on YouTube. However, the terminology I used at certain points made it a little confusing for some people, so here we are. Let's get right into it. Before we start, please know that this isn't a guide on how to do Mushroom Shrine as that is a separate thing you need to do before getting to this point. Please check the description of this video for a link to Mina Story's guide to completing the Mushroom Shrine Tales prequests. Once you finish that and talk to all the NPCs in Mushroom Shrine, you will have an extra quest in your light bulb tab. Click the My Level Range button on the bottom right, and that should show you the quest Threads of Fate Unraveling the Threads of Fate. This quest should appear if you did everything correctly for Mushroom Shrine. For the sake of this guide and video, I'll be focusing on the two most important people to maintain because of what they can offer. These two NPCs are Tengu and Kurama. Firstly, you need 70 closeness in order to summon an NPC. When you summon Tengu, he gives you a 20 attack slash magic attack buff for an hour every 24 hours. Make sure when you summon Tengu for the buff, no other atmospheric buff is going on because it will not go through and you will waste it and have to wait 24 hours for the next one. The next NPC is Kurama. Kurama gives you a skill that can one-shot mobs, but has a very long cooldown. This skill is mainly used for punch king events where you have a bunch of smaller mobs that you want to get rid of quickly and just focus on the big boss. Now, let's talk about closeness. You can gain closeness four different ways. The first way is by gifting. You can gift an NPC seven times per week, which resets at midnight Monday UTC. You gain three closeness each time you gift for a total of 21 closeness per week per NPC. The second way is by talking to the NPC. You can talk for 2-3 to three closeness every 30 minutes, which does cap at 50 closeness. The third way is by defeating the Showa Town boss daily for a ball of yarn that gives 7 closeness to any NPC you choose. Mikey Chain has a great guide on this that I recommend you follow if you need it. The link to it will be in the description. The last way is by repeating the Tengu fight daily. But one time was enough, so ain't nobody doing that. Keeping all that in mind, you also lose closeness weekly. At midnight Monday UTC, depending on your closeness, you will lose a certain amount but that can easily be maintained by gifting the NPC again. Once you reach a closeness of 50 with an NPC, you can ask them to do something for you. This is where you start looking for the correct prompt to get you those herb pouches. If you are looking for suspicious herb pouches to get more juniper berry seed oils for wealth pots and EXP pots, you want to have the gather herbs or chop wood prompt, the town or the place doesn't matter. The reason why it is so important to have two different NPCs at 50 closeness is because once you get the prompt, you need to make sure you ask a different NPC first before you ask the NPC with the correct prompt or you will lose it. This is because when you ask the first NPC to do something for you, if you ask them again first tomorrow, that prompt will have been reset. This can be a little confusing, but it's not really. When you're searching for the prompt, just make sure you have two different NPCs at 50 closeness for asks. While searching for the prompt, you only need to worry about one of the two NPCs and ask them every day until you find the correct prompt. Once you do get the right prompt, ask the other NPC first the next day and do that from now on and you will keep the correct prompt that you got from the initial search. That's it. For the NPC that has the correct prompt, make sure to get them to 100 closeness because the amount of closeness does affect the amount of bags you get per day. At 50, you get 15 pouches per completion and you get an extra pouch every 10 closeness. At 100 closeness, you should be getting 20 pouches per completion and you can do this 5 times per day. I should mention after the first ask every day, just relog to reset that ask request since asking is by completion, not attempts. One more thing to know is that after you ask, you need to wait 30 minutes for the ask to complete and you need to make sure you don't change channel, go to the cash shop, or go to your home or else you will get meso instead of pouches. If you do this by accident, just relog and redo the ask. That should be all the important information regarding Threads of Fate and acquiring Juniper Berry Seed Oils for those Wealth and EXP potions. I hope this video was a bit clearer than my other one and more informative. If I missed something, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Big thanks to Rooney, Brandon Lee, Yo MJ, Not Chaos, Eric Gritty, Balloon, Prime Gaming, Cultured Anime, Justice Sue, Restored, Thick Thighs, I Love Apple, Jason, JP, Picklenear, Joshua Alvarez, Mr. On Arc, Restrict, XX Shadow XX234, 
and everyone giving me money for pizza for being members and supporting the channel. Click that join button down below if you would like to become a member and support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.